17 weeks, 17 weeks gone. So, it is my 17 week bump day. Well, hello there everybody again. Um, it's now my 17 week bump date. I am 18 weeks tomorrow, so I thought I would record this today because I'm busy tomorrow. So, not much has been going on. To be honest, we went shopping today, which you would have seen my whole video because I've put that up before this one. Um, it was really fun to get boy things. We also received the uh, pram, like the whole entire pram this week, which was really fun for me. I really enjoyed putting it together. Um, and just playing with my pram. Things that I have felt symptom wise this week, not much. Haven't been nauseous, haven't had any fainting or dizzy spells this week. Um, I have um, still am disgusted by eggs. My itchy nipples seem to have stopped a bit though my boobs are quite sore. Um, and weird dreams, I'm still having, don't sleep. I had one night where my toothache was terrible um, and didn't sleep at all because of that. And then the rest of the nights when I do sleep a little bit, it's very strange and horrible dreams, to be honest. One thing I have had is heartburn for the last couple of days, mostly at night when I lay down, which isn't very nice, but it means apparently his hair is growing um and then something that i think i don't know because i i kind of don't know what to expect i think i've been feeling the first little flutters um like yesterday and the day before mostly when i was laying down um in the evening or something but i think that's what i've been feeling i'm not sure and it's really really annoying to not know if that's what it is um the video today is going to be quite short because, to be honest, not much is going on today. I'm in a different scene because Miguel's having a nap. He is off this week and um, he is tired and I took him to Ikea today and to the shopping. So not much more to report. To be honest, this week has been quite a normal, nice week. Um, I'm. If you want to stay tuned um, after this, once this is done, there's going to be a video about my Bugaboo V3 and what I like most about my Bugaboo V3 so far. Um, if you've got any questions about my week, my bump date, just comment down below. Let me know what you think. And also at the end of the video, if you have any questions about the Bugaboo, let me know too. So let's head on to that video. Hello there everybody. Today I'm here to present to you with the Bugaboo V3. So... As you may or may not know, Bugaboo are very well known for their prams and pushchairs. This is the latest version of the Bugaboo B3. Um, things that I love about this pram are the lovely soft padded chair and backrest. It has really nice and soft. Um, it has a five point harness which is, when you press it, all of them come out individually. So you have four separate tags to put in. But in a way, I like this feature. I might hate it once I have a screaming toddler that does not want to sit in their pram when we're out and about. Another feature I love about this pushchair is the extendable um, handlebar. I love it. It has eight different heights. Um, it's perfect because I'm shorter than my partner, my mother's taller than me as well, so that is perfect for whoever is using it. It has a nice large basket, sadly it's not really accessible from the back, but it's plenty accessible from the front. Um, it has a foot rest here for the child. The wheels are a rubbery, like foamy kind of wheel, which are swivel, but you can lock them in place very easily they have every wheel has suspension which is perfect for a little bumpier um, ride 
even if this plan is more for the city or the towns. The chair does, um, the things do make go bigger, the harness goes bigger. And one feature I love about this pram is its extendable backrest and chair. So one, two, three more heights on the chair and the that's the backrest and then the bum extends three as well so that is for one big kid you know that is pretty tall um like backrest that's quite tall i'm not exactly sure how tall but it is pretty tall um and you just push it back in nice and easy nice and easy so it has um three different levels of seating so this is obviously sitting up this is sitting down a bit more and this is laying flat this chair can be used from birth um but you can purchase the additional carry cot or the um adapters to put your car seat on it max you see we have the black frame you can buy aluminium frame or pay a tiny extra and get it in black. As we went for the grey seat, we really wanted the black um, frame. I'm going to show you how easy it is to turn it round and make it mummy facing or daddy facing. As you can see, I don't have the hood on it. It's on the bassinet at the moment um, as it's the first thing we're going to use. But it's so easy to just put on, take off. And it literally just goes down to here once it's on. Um, so to go mummy facing, you just push the chair all the way down as far as it can go, like as far as it will go. And then you just lift, like literally that's, that's how it comes out. It's really easy. Turn it round and then adjust the seat again so now we are mummy facing that is that's how easy that is the pram does come with a rain cover which can be fitted with the bassinet with the chair facing mummy or the chair facing the world which is fantastic um i think the first winter that we're going to be using this baby will still be facing me if he's out of his carry cot which i think he will at some point during that winter it is so easy and so just lightweight it folds amazing you just have to press you can fold it looking at mummy or looking at the world press the two little buttons pull the levers and you're down you've gone this obviously is looking at mummy is a bit more bulky but look at that that is pretty good so to open it you just step Pull, click, click. That's how easy that is. Um, now for the bassinet. Push it forward as if you're going to change it direction. Lift up. Lift the chair up and out. So now it's out. Get your bassinet. Well, this is the bassinet here with the hood on. It comes with these two adapters which you just slide in to the side of the pram pretty easy there we go lift up your bassinet and make sure these white bits are just on top click and that is done now I'm quite a maniac of having everything perfect so there we go there's our bassinet that's how easy the bassinet is to put on. It has a lovely padded um, mat mattress in it and this little um, apron cover here. This is the hood that you would use on your seat. Very easy to put on the seat when you take it off of here once you're done with the bassinet. No hood, like hood completely down. And then once, if it's very sunny or very cold even, and you want to open up the hood 
literally just zip all the way around and pull. That is like how amazing is that? It's really hot here when the baby's going to be born. We probably won't be using the apron at first, but we will definitely be using this lovely big canopy. I love it. I think it's wonderful. It's very easy to manoeuvre. Again, it's very light. Yeah, it's just the perfect. You've got your brake down here, and you're done. Thank you very much for watching our video. If you have any questions or anything I might not have said about the Bugaboo B3, please comment down below and let me know. It's really a plan that caught my eye before I was pregnant while we were trying to conceive, and I just think it's beautiful and I love it. So yeah, please give this video a thumbs up. Again, comment any questions and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye.